Good morning, everybody. Man, do I have a doozy for you. Um, so self-sabotage, I was listening to that today, and uh, man, uh, we all do it. Um, we just sometimes we just don't realize we're doing it. So basically, uh, there's a lot more to it than this, but I'm just going to down and dirty the best I can uh, to say what it was. It's, uh, you have this thing called the amyg yeah, amygdala. It's the lower part of the brain. And what it did was it served to keep uh, uh, keep us safe thousands of years ago in the primitive world when threats like starvation, um, extreme temperature changes, uh, warring of tribes. And its function was to do one main thing, stay at a steady state while warning us against danger so we can survive and procreate. And one of the problems this thing has, it has a negativity bias. So it's far less worried about what's positive and more worried about uh, our environment and significantly concerns of what's bad, basically. And his default is to um, hunt for danger, um, is what it was. So always looking to keep us on the ready. So when uh, uh, life was brutal, we could be swift and we could survive and we could attack it. But today we don't, we don't have that need for that. And, but so what it's doing now is when you're trying to do something new, are trying to do something uh, that you need to, to, to get the better yourself. This thing kicks in, and what it's doing is it, it, it's looking for something to to keep you because it's like okay, well, it, the fear, the it, the fear of like oh I can't do this, oh, I'm gonna be able to, or I have to look up someone else, or am I gonna be good enough, or can I do this? And all these things, and so what it does is it starts to get you distracted because then it feels good, your emotions, um, so. You start maybe scrolling and reading articles and stuff because it keeps you away from that because it don't want you to deal with that because it's afraid of something new and a growth. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot more to it than that. But it really gets down to the deep core of your mind of how hard it is and why it's so hard to make it and become great because you have to beat things like this in your mind that's just there at a different time. And we're... We're at a different time. We're trying to grow in a different part of your brain, and they're at odds with one another. And so they're just trying to keep you safe. And it's a primitive thing. And we just need to understand how all this stuff works, and that it's okay. And that how you beat it is you just got to just work on it every day because it's not it's not easy. So yeah. Anyway, that was it. It just wants to make you from escaping. And um, and another thing too uh, that uh, was part of this conversation is that. Um, busy, it doesn't mean productive. I'm, the, I, man, I do that all the time. You get distracted because you're like, oh, I don't want to, you know, you sort of don't want to do it. So it's more pleasurable just to sit there and be mindless stuff, but you don't do it. So need to start uh, not, uh, not focusing on my time, but I need to start focusing on my productivity and my goals. And anyway, all right. Well, that was, it was pretty enlightening for me. I hope you got something out of that because um, I'm always intrigued by the brain and how it works. So, all right, man. We all need to stay undistracted, work a little harder, and get our goals so that way we can be better for everyone. All right. With that, y'all have a quintessential day.